Ong. Well, this is Milton Blake, the Militant Blake, and you're watching WDT Media TV with your host, Dudley Thompson. Don't touch that dial. We're at the Tivoli Gardens High School here in West Kingston where vaccination exercise is taking place. Person registering at Tivoli Gardens to be vaccinated. And here are the, the Anua stations on the school compound. Here at Tivoli Gardens. Here MP Elizabeth Mackenzie is here. Well, I am extremely proud, you know, of West Kingston, the turnout in the number, both locations, Denham Town, Community Centre, and Tivoli, you know, have you know, excellent turnout of persons, and one of the good things about it, it's not only people from West Kingston, who came here today. Yeah. Persons from other areas uh, came. You have police officers coming. You have um, you know, workers in, within the area uh, that are not residents of West Kingston. And it has been a good day. Um, you know, you still have a lot of, of people who complain that they've been here. But the process has been smooth. And I really want to say a special word of thanks to the health team. Um, both the, the, those at Denham Town and those here in Tivoli, they have done a fantastic job. Mm. And when the Prime Minister speaks about the community rollout of the vaccination which we launched yesterday in St. Thomas, mm. and today Minister Tufton is in Westmoreland, mm. and on Wednesday again, the Prime Minister will be rolling out in the corporate area. Then we'll go to Portland and Thursday, uh, and Minister Tufton will be in Trelawney and St. James the following week. So, what we are seeing here today is a clear indication that many people want the vaccination. Yes. And they have, they have been asking those who could make it if it is possible for us to get another dose. Yes. And I'm going to be working on it because where the demands are for the vaccination, we must ensure that we take it to the people. And that is what we do. Based on your estimation, about how many persons turn out today at both centers? But no, no. I, I, do, I can't. I, I know we have gone well in excess of a thousand or more. Oh. Right? So uh, we have done well in terms of the numbers. And I must confess to you that I am really proud. And we never had, we never had a long time to sensitize the community. Because the lockdown days came and we only had yesterday yeah. to sort of put it together. And based on the response, I know that West Kingston, and I'm going to urge my fellow Jamaicans to be patriotic. Take the vaccine. Yeah. It helps. Right? And this is a word of encouragement and a word right? mm -hmm. of expression of confidence in those who have not yet taken the vaccine to say that nothing is wrong. The Prime Minister said yesterday that those who came out in St. Thomas and those who came out in Hanover are heroes. And we have heroes here in West Kingston. And we are going to be developing more heroes across the country when we take the community groups into the heart of the community. What do we have word to the anti vaxxers No, I'm not going to waste time with that. Mm -hmm. This is a free country, mm -hmm. and you should allow a platform for stupidity. 
Alright, well said, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Back here in three miles, the lights are working perfectly. We don't see why there is a traffic jam here under the bridge. It's the first day after the lockdown, so heavy traffic is back on the road after a three day lockdown. Long lines coming from downtown Kingston heading into three miles. Long line coming from halfway tree. First day after a three day lockdown, peak hours. And also, long length coming from Spanish Town, resulting in a traffic jam under the bridge. It's by the fact that the light is working. Traffic coming from downtown. Jam is going down back of Carver Drive. And the long line going down back of Carver Drive. And it's back up here under the bridge as you can see. It's by the fact that the lights, so like there's a, you can see light on green, right? And one green, you can see there's green, but no movement. That is still on green and no movement. And chop there coming from halfway tree, trying to come down. You can see the chip jam here under the bridge. That is now going amber. No one red. So light change from green to red and no movement. Let's see again. It's bumper to bumper under the bridge. And long line heading down Marcos Garvey Drive. So motorists, best of by three miles in peak hours. They're in a chopper. Here, all the let get through. It's the emergency. Ambulance here in traffic. And this that is an emergency case, so I'm not need to get through. That's how tight is at three miles. And ambulance is going through up, up Spanish Town Road. Luckily, it was coming under the bridge. See here the traffic here is getting worse and worse under the bridge. And the lights are working perfectly. Not sure if that is a the problem here. The lights are working. Come back to the Elizabeth Jamaican motorists. Look under the bridge. Look here. Look at the squeeze coming under the bridge. Look at the light coming through the middle here. And the lights are working perfectly here under the bridge.
tight squeeze there under the bridge. Look at the squeeze coming through. At a standstill, most of the one hitting down, down to Marcus Garvey Drive. <laughs> yes, everyone is trying to beat me. 7 o'clock curfew. I caused in a black up a blockage I'm still earlier going down Marcus Garvey Drive.